corrupted files, aren't they just the best? This is what my group recorded for our turning point exercise, but none of the files wanted to cooperate, so Saskia and Aaliyah just refilmed a segment on the stairs. The turning point we chose to hone in on was moving out of home and how the interviewees had to learn to adjust to a different place on their own. Having this discussion kind of naturally created this nervous energy in the space and having a second camera would have been perfect for capturing any fidgeting but for this exercise we filmed the b-roll separately so the nervous behavior isn't quite authentic or in sync with how the interviewees might naturally respond to certain questions. Michael Rabiger touches on this in conducting and shooting interviews instructing readers to quote use more than one camera so you always have reaction shots and cutaways end quote so a second camera is definitely something for me to consider when i film my video portrait ravager also discusses the importance of quote freeing yourself to listen end quote on page 466 highlighting how important it is to work intuitively by not just keeping your head in your notes and getting carried away with the task at hand, but actually listening to the person you're interviewing rather than just solely relying on the questions. This is particularly important for me to take on board when I'm filming the video portrait on my chosen person because I know that it'll stress me out and I'll have a mental checklist of prompts that I'll be ticking off, which would compromise being truly immersed in the interview. I'm going to end this video with an experimental short film I made. I was feeling very Lynchian, so I'll leave it up to interpretation.